In America, we have rights. Those are established by treaties that we have on the books in the United Nations with over 400 countries. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is something that we are all, as American citizens, liable to. At the same time, as American citizens, we all benefit from the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and other federal laws that protect me and you. The question I have for you today is, who owns you? The other question I have today is, who can play with you? And the beyond the question that I want to pose to is, at what point do you get out of your way and live your own life correctly or rightly? Because people's ideology about how you should live your life is not really their motherfucking business. But how people try to police people and to interfere with people and their rights to live is your business. You see, your job as an American citizen is to protect all the treaty tenets and all the articles and amendments of the Constitution. And in both worlds order oriented documents for both the world and our nation, it says that you have no rights to enslave any individual in any way with any type of abuse, whether it be emotional, psychological, spiritual, intellectual, physical or sexual or technological. You see, there is a technological abuse that enslaves people. A person is working on a project for their company and someone interferes with it and they lose their job. That was immoral and illegal. A person is working on something in terms of re repairing a relationship and a technological company, a social media company, interferes and social engineers a part of the conversation out of the playtime of an employee and it ruins the relationship. That's on you. American citizens are mature at the age of typically 18. They're fully legally responsible for their behavior and their actions. That is true. But there are some unique special circumstances where other people start to interfere and taint people in their predominantly couple-oriented relationships, meaning it takes two to have a conversation. But oftentimes the third party or the fourth party or the person who's extended outside of that conversation and relationship will abuse me and you.